So this nice weather that we've been having may feel like summer, but remember, it's still spring in the Pacific Northwest, and that means millions of migrating birds are passing through, and this is looking to be a very busy weekend. King 5's Michael Crow has what you need to know to help keep wildlife safe. Around a billion birds die a year from window strikes when they're confused by the reflective surface. But there is another threat migrating birds face, light pollution. Light pollution can have a pretty big impact on migratory birds, right? Correct. Uh, it is amazing how these birds are traveling thousands of miles at night. And to do that, they use different cues. And one of them is starlights and moonlight and different lights in the environment that have come uh, alive in the past, you know, uh, 100 years really are disorienting. Dr. Alejandro Rico Guevara is a UW biology professor and bird curator at the Burke Museum. Traveling at night, he says, means fewer predators and cooler temps. For years now, the Audubon Society has been trying to address this with their Lights Out initiative, highlighting the issue of transiting birds that can be confused by the glow of cities and artificial light. So they encourage cities to take measures to address light pollution, especially during migration seasons. A lab at Colorado State University also studies and forecasts migrations and shows areas of western Washington under medium alert for the next couple nights, with millions of birds passing through. As good a reason as any to follow the Audubon advice and turn off decorative exterior lighting, floodlights, and shield or darken windows, especially higher up. Those huge buildings uh, are the ones that attract most of the birds because they are the ones that ha reach highest in the sky. But as individuals, we can definitely make a difference in just lowering the overall glare of the area. Michael Crow, King 5 News.